Welcome back, everybody. So you're heading out tonight for a nice meal, and if you're health conscious, you might be thinking that a better restaurant means better food and food that is better for you, but new research says that that is not always the case. Well, Dr. John Thomas with the Vibrant Life Health Center joins us now to tell us why. Thank you so much for coming, Thanks Dr. John. Thanks for having me, for sure. You are my, my health and diet guru, as everybody Amen. knows. So we're going to talk about, before the break, we put the ladies to a test, mm -hmm. and we asked them out of three meals to select which one they thought was the least calories and which one had the most calories. Okay. So we looked at the Big Mac. We looked at the meatloaf from the Cheesecake Factory and from on the border, the taco salad. So, uh -huh. what, did, what did we say? So, uh, a couple of ladies thought that the Big Mac had the most. Mm -hmm. um, of course, Bonnie says, I can never be fooled, you know, and she <laughs> thought it had the least. Um, and then the meatloaf kind of came in. Everybody pretty much figured that one was pretty heavy with the calories. Heavy. So, right. let's look to you as the expert. Well, the, you know, whoever picked the meatloaf nailed it. That's okay. the worst. You know. <laughs> Angelia. <laughs> there you go. So, that's, we're looking at that. That's got 1,980 calories and 109 grams of fat. Wow. That's huge. That is. That's almost your whole day's meal. <laughs> exactly. So, okay. I mean, that's, that's crazy. So, that has the worst. That has the worst. The middle is actually the on-the-border taco salad. Okay. When you take a look at that, that's 1,280 calories and 85 grams of fat. Wow. So, you know what this means, then? So, this means that, surprisingly <laughs> enough, that Bonnie was Bonnie right. Bonnie was right. <laughs> the McDonald's Big Mac at 550 calories and just 29 grams of fat comes in at the leanest option of these three. Now, they always say that fast food isn't good for you, though. Right. So it doesn't necessarily mean that this is the healthiest meal there. That's true. It's not the healthiest meal. Because when you look at that, you think that the nuggets and the cheeseburgers are what's expanding our waistlines nowadays. But when you take a look at the research out there, what we're finding is that eating out in upscale restaurants at these, like these examples here, they're not exactly giving us the greatest meals as well. Okay, so how can that be? Because, you know, like we said, so much of the farm to table, and it's mm -hmm. supposed to be so much healthier for you, and you go out to a nice meal. So exactly. how can this be worse for us? Well, you know, when you look at you know, how, the, how those meals are put together, okay. and you see that because the Affordable Care Act is going to come out, they're going to give us information on the menus, we're going to have calories and nutritional information, but when you go out to a Highline restaurant like that, we look at things individually. So let's go for an example. If you're going out to eat, what's the first thing you're going to order? An appetizer. Oh, you're so sweet. I would right? get the beverage first, but okay. <laughs> once I go, I, so, I order them at the same time. Okay. okay we'll go with we'll that. We'll get to the beverage. Okay, so an appetizer. But, you and I are going to go out. We'll split an appetizer. Exactly. So you split an appetizer. Those are usually about 804 calories each. That's as much as the meal. It is. That's so as much as the big, more than the, the big mac. Exactly. And that's just the beginning of the meal. Okay. Then we get into the entree. And we're looking at an entree, typically your burgers or your sandwiches, about 897 calories. And if sometimes you, they offer the light menu, too. Exactly. And the lighter menu, you're only going to save about 100 calories. So you're getting about 797 calories out of if that I'm meal. only saving 100 calories, That's I'm crazy. going for the Mac Daddy. Not exactly. the Big Mac, the Mac Daddy meal. And here's the important thing to note is entrees, 30% of the entrees on menus, they are actually above the standards of uh, for, uh, Food and Drug Administration for sodium and fat. They're above the allowances that we're supposed to So it's to not have. just the calories that are exactly. added to our waistline. Exactly. Okay, so then, I mean, you know, when you go to a restaurant, like I love some of the big steak houses they come they bring you the sides the and the sides, sides are yes. delicious and they're like family style so they come right? in a tub can you have just one well then well, no. no right <laughs> 289 because a couple calories. people order different sides and you're all yeah. sharing so on average by the research 289 calories each each so side. boom so now you're adding even more to this meal right so you're building a, a stack of, of just a, a lovely meal in one shot right now now by now I've probably ordered my I've had my cocktail, your, your cocktail and now I've ordered my wine by now yep. wine so or I know you're gonna bring that into it 244 calories to 289 calories somewhere in there is where you're gonna fall if you go the alcoholic route or the alcohol route if you go with the non-alcohol you're going to be about 161 calories because that's like an average soda right? exactly soda sweet tea something like that <sighs> So okay. there you go. And then, of course, last but not least, you got to get dessert, right? Well, we'll share it. Does right? that help? We'll share it. Helps, it helps, right? <laughs> 700 plus calories for each dessert menu. Crazy, isn't it? So now you look at this whole meal that you've had, and you're at at least three quarters or more of a 2,000 calorie diet, and you have exceeded the Food and Drug Administration's allowances for sodium and fat. I'm just depressed now. Now yes. I'm never going to be able to eat again. Okay, so, so all right, well, but some people... <laughs> They, they have to go out to eat because they, 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 they work. And I know I take lots of clients out to lunches. And yes. some people who are, my husband travels a lot, and he is always eating out on the road when he's not home. So how do you possibly order thin when you're ordering out if this is what you're up against? Is this is what you're up against. <laughs> That's a great statement because a lot of people love to go out. Work has to take you out. Special events happen. You know, 
But there's some strategies that we can really apply. The first one we look at is let's strategize about the entrees. We talked about being light, saving 100 calories. There's other options. You can look at a senior menu. You can look at a children's menu. Those items are actually about 500 calories and a little bit less when it comes to saturated fat or fats or sodium. So you're going to get a better option if you go with those types of choices. And they're still great menu items. Well, i got to be honest with you. The portions are really normal portions versus right. when you usually get your exactly. meal. It's way more than you can ever actually yeah. eat. And that's the second tip is serving size. We got to take a look and make sure when you're ordering, understand the size that you're going to get, you know, and, and the serving size and what you're ordering so you can keep an idea of what you're seeing come to the table. So you can do that. I don't tell you, about, whenever I go with my mom, she always wants to split an entree. That's I would do it more if she would let me order the entree. Exactly. She only wants to split what she wants to <laughs> right, order. Right. And that's a big tip, too, splitting the meal. My wife and I do that whenever we go out to eat. We order the meals and we split it. And if you're alone, another great tip is actually have the waiter box half the meal up before it even comes to the table so that you can actually not even be tempted to eat too much. Because sometimes when it's so you good, I look at that and I go, going. I can never eat the whole thing. And then <laughs> by the time I've eaten three quarters of it, and I'm like, well, heck, I might as well finish might it. Might as well finish it at this point, right? Okay, so um, one of the tips that you taught me, because you, like I said, you were my diet guru, and, and we started with the first of the year, yes. and your advice, I lost 20 pounds, yes, kept it off, and one of your advice to me was uh, order with no butter and no oil, and I yes. thought that was going to be the hardest thing in the world, and it actually was not. No, and that's a great tip there, and I love what we talked about with you, mm -hmm. is that if you go to the restaurant, have the chef or the cook come out to the table and ask them, what is the best thing that you can make without butter and without oil. Here you're going to get the showcase meal because he's going to try to show off a little mm -hmm. bit here because you put him to the test. So you get a great meal, it's healthy, and you can enjoy it. I love that tip. Yes. I love that tip because then they do. And I tried different things that I'd never tried before right. based on what the, what the chef Expand recommended. Expand your for horizons, me. so to speak, right? And not your waistband. Right. Okay, and then of course, obviously. What are you going to do about the dessert? Well, if you can do it at all, you know, only save them for special occasions. Skip them if you can. But I always teach people, make a better bad choice. So if you have to do a dessert, choose a fruit. Okay. Something that's out there that you can have that's going to be a little bit better for you, but not have that seven to eight to 900 calories on the... We do sorbet. My husband and I do that's a little a good bit one. of a light Definitely. sorbet. Definitely. All right. Well, Dr. John, thank you so much. Thank you, thank for you. And everybody me. needs to know this information. And I know we're about to head into the holiday season. Yes. But these are tips that everybody can use and start using Take them with you. right use them. today. Okay. And thank you, of course, to Vibrant Life Health Center for sponsoring this segment. And for more healthy tips and to learn more about the many services at Vibrant Life Health Center and Nutrimose of Jacksonville, just go to vibrantlifehealthcenter.com. Check it out. Lots of great information. Thank you, Dr. Thank Dr. John. You. Good to see you. All right. Well, coming up next for those of us that just could not make it to New York Fashion Week. No worries, fashion expert Adrian Houghton is here to give us a rundown of some of the best looks that were featured. Stay tuned.